Hi, my name is Angelica Ewing and I am a recovering heroin addict. My addiction started when I was a senior in high school. I began partying and drinking on the weekends with my friends and it shortly turned into a full-blown addiction. I started off by experimenting with marijuana and alcohol and that became a pretty regular occurrence. Uh, every weekend I would drink and smoke and just hang out with my friends and then one day somebody introduced me to cocaine and that was my first experience with hard drugs. Um, I took a liking to it and I decided that I wanted to try other drugs that were out there and so I started taking LSD and ecstasy and then eventually I graduated to heroin and that's when things took a really dark turn. So the first time that I tried heroin was when I was 18 years old and I was a senior in high school and uh, it didn't take long for things to get really out of control. It's probably the most addicting thing that I've ever tried in my life and the hold that it had on me was unlike anything I've ever experienced. I started out uh, smoking heroin but uh, eventually I started injecting it because uh, the potency of it over time it just becomes uh, you have to just do more and more to be able to feel something and if you don't do it then your body goes into withdrawal so it gets out of control really fast and um, I I didn't graduate high school on time because of that, because heroin became the number one priority in my life. About six months into my pregnancy that I realized that I needed help, and I, I did reach out for help, and uh, I went to the hospital, and DHS became involved in my pregnancy, and they gave me a choice. And that choice was I would either have my daughter taken away from me at birth or I could voluntarily check myself into a halfway house. So I decided to check myself into that halfway house and things were going pretty well there, but the drugs had taken a toll on my body and I gave birth to her prematurely and that was one of the most traumatic moments of my life. I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, I was in the halfway house and I had woken up one day and I felt sick to my stomach. Uh, I knew something was wrong, so I went to the hospital and they basically told me that it was a bladder infection or something to that effect and they just sent me on my way. So I go back to the halfway house and I go to my room and lay down and try to just rest and hope that it passes, but I start feeling a pain in my stomach and 
as it's getting more and more intense, I run to the bathroom and uh, I felt like I was going to throw up, but I also felt like a intense cramping sensation in my abdomen. And that's when I noticed that I was starting to bleed and uh, the blood just started pouring out of me and I collapsed to the ground and started screaming. The halfway house was so big and there was no one occupying the area of the house that I was in, so it felt like I was screaming forever for help and nobody was coming. Uh, luckily for me, somebody had come through the back door of the house and heard me screaming and they came to the bathroom and I, I told them to call 911, 911 and uh, they did, but I was going into labor and there was not enough time to get to the hospital, so uh, paramedics arrived and they delivered my baby there on the bathroom floor and she was born when I was about seven months so she was very small and she could fit right on my chest and I just remember after that they put us in the ambulance and I just sat there feeling guilty because I felt like this had happened because of my drug use while I was pregnant. When she was finally able to come home, I stayed at that halfway house for about three more months and then I decided that I couldn't do it anymore and I ran one day. I just put her in her stroller and I walked out the front door of the halfway house with a bag and I had no idea where I was going. I just kept walking until I found a gas station and I was able to get a hold of my dad. I called him and I told him that I had left and that I couldn't do it anymore and I begged him to come pick us up and bring us home and uh, he agreed and he drove uh, from Colorado Springs to somewhere in Denver and he picked us up and brought us home. It wasn't long before my ex-boyfriend uh, and the father of my child reached out to me and said that he wanted to be a part of our lives. So I went and I met with him and he met our daughter and he had led me to believe that he was sober and that he had stopped using drugs as well but that was a lie and before I knew it I was back on heroin and uh, he had also introduced me to crystal meth so we started using heavily together and everything that I had accomplished in my time of sobriety started just collapsing. It got to the point where I was at my job and he was waiting in the parking lot to pick me up from work with our daughter in the car and he overdosed and someone from the front office of the nursing home that I worked at witnessed what was happening and so they called 911 and they called the police and 
Uh, they showed up and they arrested me and he was sent to the hospital and then they gave me the opportunity to call someone to come pick up my daughter. So I called my dad and he picked her up and that night was the first time that I went to jail. Definitely not the last. And it would take me about another year, maybe two years of being in and out of jail and experiencing a few overdoses of my own until I finally was able to quit drugs for good. I became pregnant again with my son shortly after that, which gave me a purpose and the feeling that I had a second chance to do things right this time. Um, unfortunately, I was never able to get my daughter back, but I saw this as an opportunity to do things right, so I stayed sober for him, and he was born in July of 2017, and I've been sober ever since.